Dave Zirin joins us. Uh, he's from The Nation magazine. He's also author of A People's History of Sports in the United States. It's a good book, good Christmas gift. I uh, gave it. Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. for 09. Yeah. Sure. Or if you uh, haven't done, like, if you're like if you us and you haven't shopped yet. Christmas sure. shopping. So, uh, so Dave, I am not, uh, never been a big Mangini fan just mm. because I thought he whined too much about uh, what Belichick did, but... I can't believe the Jets fired him. Yeah, two winning seasons in three years. The man genius, who, by the way, once man had a... Genius. had a Yeah, that's what they called him. Okay. He had a cameo on The Sopranos. Right. And he was we called by that. James Gandolfini, the man genius. Yeah. And so he has got that on his resume. Although yeah, at this right. point, he also has on his resume that he got canned after Why? a what decent year. Why? What happened? Well, the New York Jets went for broke. They put all the chips into the middle of the table. They put down over $130 million in contracts on a couple of very high-priced players. And they lost. Mm -hmm. They were eight and three. They were the toast of the NFL. Now they're out of the playoffs, and the NFL is a very unforgiving league. It's Manichean. Yeah. It makes Washington look. Oh, you like that word? Is yes, that, I do. Is it too early for that I word? No, you can use it. Love it. Yeah. Please, we but encourage the, it. But that's the NFL. But the NFL is very political too. You know, it's not just about wins and losses. It's how you treat and stroke those around you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure in DC we know nothing about how that works. Right. And, and so that's the way it's going but, down. But again, a nine-win season. Who do you replace? Man genie with well where I, do you go the rumor is that and I, I have a lot of rumors by the way right. by the way the rumor, rumors good the rumor is false that the Yankees have signed the guy who threw the shoe at Bush that's okay. not true okay. that's not they've true. signed everybody else this offseason right. but what, not him what Jets rumors but have you the, heard? the Jets rumor is that there is a defensive coordinator for the New York Giants named Steve Spagnuolo mm -hmm. a little difficult to pronounce but he is regarded very highly in New York it would be the kind of move where the Jets could take some spotlight away from the Giants and it would have instant credibility with fans yeah. which is what they need right now. What about the Redskins? Is Zorn on his way out? Uh, no, he's not. He's absolutely got another year. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. Six and two start. They ended eight and eight. And sometimes you are what you are. That's a Bill Parcells line, mm -hmm. which sounds like, you know, a sort of football thing that someone says after they were right. dropped on their head. But it actually is true. Sometimes you are what you are. And they started six and two. They were no way good enough to be six yeah, and two. Exactly. They ended eight and eight. Zorn's a young dude. I think he's got at it's least really, another yeah. year. Well, that's him. good. Yeah. What, what about Cleveland? I'd heard rumors that Marty Schottenheimer might go back to the scene of the crime. That would be exciting. Schottenheimer oh. was great with the Browns. Well, look, is that possible? It is possible. Cleveland has, without question, the most rabid football fans in these United oh, States. I really do believe that. Even in Philadelphia, where they've been known to boo Santa Claus, right. and where they have an actual uh, court of law under in the bowels of the stadium for people who <laughs> act up so they can do instant processing, oh, yeah. even Philadelphia does not hold a candle to Cleveland. Oh, and great. they were so depressed by the end of this last season, bringing Schottenheimer would be a wise move. Is it, so that's possible? Oh, yeah. No, no. This, that's very in the land of the possible. Schottenheimer, what I hear, uh, wants back in a huge oh, way. Oh, that'd be great. What about, talk about sports and politics yeah. and how they, how they combine, because we see it here every morning. Yeah, I mean, and this year, I think, has been unprecedented for what I've been writing about for about five or, five or six years, which is the collision of sports and politics. But if you look at this past year, with the Beijing Olympics, with the Obama elections, with the issue of the economy and sports, I mean, the stories cannot be contained on the sports page. And I'll tell you, it all started in January with a famous football, that would be soccer player, mm -hmm. uh, named Muhammad Abu Treka. This is this past January, it's worth mentioning, who scored a goal and he lifted his shirt and he had a shirt that read Sympathize with Gaza written on it. Mm -hmm. And it became a huge controversy in the world of soccer. And I'll tell you, given what's happening now, given the humanitarian crisis, given everything you guys have talked about this morning, the 400 deaths, it's, mm -hmm. I think we might be seeing more of that on the soccer fields in the year to come, especially since we're hitting a big World Cup uh, right. qualifying wow. year and, and soccer will become the kind of thing where in the United States, soccer fans don't have to sort of hide their faces. And Are you a soccer fan? I am a soccer fan. Good! I, you're the only person I've had on this show that loves soccer, too. I love it. Yes, I just and I think. We're going to get into it, Pete. We're getting into it. They never let me talk about soccer. <laughs> the pitch is the perfect place for politics. Let's see if it happens in the year to come. That All would right. be. Great to have you on, Dave. You, you ever read Frank's uh, book, Frank Ford's book about how soccer explains the world? Several times, but a better book, Eduardo Galeano, Soccer and Sun and Shadow. Oh. Whoa. The classic. Not better than Frank's. Frank's a friend of ours. Oh. But the, the <laughs> best, the best <laughs> book. Therefore, it's the best the book be, ever The written. best book ever written. On people's history of sports in the United no States. Doubt. That's David going on the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. David, thank you. I hope you come back. It's My privilege. Gracious All you. right. Happy see you too. New Year. We'll Happy New Year. And we'll, we'll talk about how Liverpool's going to win the English Ooh, League the this year. I love the Scouts. All right.